Well, we're leaving. We stayed, stayed here two days just to get some work done. And uh, now we're going to Pendleton, Oregon today. I think, I think it's like 380 miles. So then it won't be too bad of a day. So, okay, Snake we're River. off. We're about, oh, about 60 miles from Boise now. Still Idaho. It's got that, it's got that Eastern Washington look to it. You go up more north and it's gonna be lots of trees and stuff, but yeah. Still, it's, it's a nice drive through here. Yep, and we're pretty happy with the way the performance of the trucks impact. Shifting good, I got it cruise control, going up a hill, shift just like it's supposed to. It's good to go. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, I think I think we'll make it home now. <laughs> 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 I didn't know where we were gonna live for a while there, maybe Vegas, right? <laughs> yeah. It's fixed, adjusted right. It's working good. Yeah. We might be getting a few more miles of uh, miles per gallon, but not really a whole lot. It's, but it's working good. Yeah, and Sophie's Sophie's just resting. <laughs> kind of in a little mountain area here, but uh, it is beautiful, right? Look at all that. downhill <laughs> so yeah okay we're up here on the top of dead man's pass this is I've gone up this pass but I've never gone down this pass before so uh, yeah <laughs> here we go it's a beautiful view though right Just gonna go slow. Or just down there. Huh? That guy's pulling a snow cat. That probably would be fun to take out in the snow, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, look at the valley down there. It's just gorgeous. Long ways down though. <laughs> yep. Okay, I, I didn't tape the whole thing because I just had to remember to breathe. <laughs> it was pretty windy. Steep and windy. I'm maybe next time I can get the whole thing taped for you. But I think that's where we're going. See over there that casino? That's it. So uh yeah. <laughs> we did Dead Man's Pass. Yeah, it, yeah, just just go down nice and easy. It's nothing. I don't know what the big hike was. It was now, my big semis, yes. You know, it's you a big cliff that you're gonna fall off on Windy yeah. little uh, road semi, straight 60, down. 60, 70,000 pounds. You know, you gotta go down. I guess I should have taped it for you all, but I just couldn't tape those parts that were really bad. <laughs> I just had to breathe. But hey, we did it. We're down. And over there, someplace, is where we're going. And uh, looks like we're here. Wild Horse Resort and Casino RV Park. So there's the park. And then, oh, right behind us here is just happens to be a big old casino. <laughs> just so happens. Just so happens. So, uh. I'll show you our spot when we get in there. They do have a swimming pool. It looks like it. <laughs> it's a little chilly to go swimming, but but they I think they're all in the hot tub. So ah, uh, yeah, we just might have to do that. Yeah. 
but okay. We're here. So pretty nice, pretty nice spot we had here. We could kind of packing up, getting ready to leave again in the morning. Mike had to, Mike had to put the satellite on top of the slide out because uh, couldn't get any reception. But no, it's it's a pretty nice. This is a really 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 nice park. And there's the casino. But we only went one time just for a little bit. Played some. Mike played some two dollar blackjack, and I played some kino, and then we came home. It was kind of yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice casino, but it was a little tight. Office was right across the street from us. I checked out the bathrooms. They're really nice, really nice. So if you if you want to take a shower in there and not in your RV, it, it's privacy stalls and they're really clean, nice. Some of the places I've been to, well, you don't <laughs> you don't even want to walk into. But uh yeah. Yeah, this is a really nice park. Yeah, pretty nice pool area. It's a little chilly to go swimming, I think. Um, I think it's in the 60s here today. But um, we might later go in the hot tub. So, yeah, we'll see about that. We, we might do that. So, next to the pool, they got this little area for a fire pit. Looks like <laughs> it's not been the weather for having a fire pit, I guess. But, yeah, that's kind of nice, right? Come over here and... There's the pool there, and then come over here and have your fire. Okay, so let me see if I can bring it in for you. Can you see up there? That's that's Dead Men's Pass. It don't look like nothing from down here. I was hoping our trader would have a view of that. Like I was telling Mike, it'd be like, to me, watching a horror movie, right? <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Yeah, there, you can see it right there. That's the start of it right there. Lots of empty spots in here. They also have a really nice golf course. So if you like to, you know, play golf, yeah, this would be a nice place for you to go. Yeah, so this is just countryside out by Pendleton, Oregon. Just, it's just beautiful here. It really is. We're getting close to home now, though. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that, too. Been gone a long time. I think this is the tent area in through here. Pretty nice, right? You're not going to have any hookups, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I know that there's tent tent camping here so I think I think that's it and then you can come over here and have a picnic it looks like yeah they have another fire pit over here so <sighs> yeah so this this is pretty nice so if you're in this area it's a nice place to stop in at Well, where we're at, and she's take pictures, we're at Wild Horse Casino and RV and Golf Course. We're on Highway 84 in uh, Oregon, Pendleton, Oregon, right at the base of the Dead Men's Pass. Good place to stop and rest before you go over or when you come back down. <laughs> Here to go. We're going to uh, my sister's house for a few days. What do they call that? Smooch docking? <laughs> that should be fun. And so it's only like 150 miles. So it's going to be an easy day. I'm thinking that, I don't know, maybe three hours? I don't know. So we'll see. We're just about ready to head into Washington. After almost 1,500 miles. Going over the Columbia River. Yep. There's the Columbia River. there and we're gonna find Washington our home state so uh, this is the eastern Washington the east side of the mountain which is more deserty yep. the west side is more mountain but there it is welcome to Washington 
the evergreen state. The evergreen, but not not this side of the mountain. <laughs> the other side is the green side, but yeah, we like this side too. We like it a lot here. So I guess we're like almost like you could say home. What do you think, Mike? Yep, get close. Oh, these guys took us out for Easter brunch. And we we were we were just so um, David Mitchell, we were just so um, hungry that um, there's always wine in the ground. We were so hungry that we couldn't wait, and so we ate the food. <laughs> and this is what's left. I usually like to show you guys what we ate, but you know. <laughs> and so now us girls, what are us girls gonna do now? Goodwill. Yep. Shopping. We're going to shopping. Yep. yep. What are the men gonna do? Go home Siesta. and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was too. I would go home and pack. Okay. Okay. So we had a good time. So we left my sister's house. I sure enjoyed the last few days. We went shopping just about every day. Just hung out and visited. It was good. But you know, we had most all hook up. We just didn't have a sewer hook up. But here in Washington, um, a lot of the rest areas, you know, there's Mike. A lot of the rest areas have, the yeah, a lot of the rest areas have dump stations in Washington. So it's kind of nice that we're going to dump before we finish going up the mountain. So, yeah. On our way home, this is the last leg of the journey. Probably about. Oh, I don't know how many hours, four hours, and we'll be home. Just beautiful over here. Still, it's still the desert look, Eastern Washington. I'll show you the difference once we go over in, into Western Washington. Bumpy ride. I know I've taped this before, but I gotta tape it again because it's just so beautiful, right? Ellensburg down there. Yeah. See that mountain in the background? Snow Peak Mountain. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cascades. Beautiful. So, yeah. I had to tape this again. Getting ready to go over. What pass are we going over, Mike? Snoqualmie Pass, Washington State. Yep. And look at you can see all kinds of trees now. Um, this is what Washington looks like on the on the west side. We're not quite on the west side yet. As soon as we go over the pass, but yeah, back to the trees. It's a nice lake they got here too. Got about 28 miles to get home. Here's the uh, Tacoma Narrows Bridge. It's always, it's always kind of nice driving over this. Nice view, see? There's the Puget Sound that we live on. That's like circles over around by our house. There's Tacoma. There's Kid Harbor over there. So, yeah, getting close now. How do you think the truck did on all those mountains today, Mike? I think it did wonderful. <laughs> I think we got it fixed now. So we're good to go. But, uh, yeah, almost home. You know you're home when you uh, when you see the shipyards. The Bremerton Naval Shipyard. It's not the pretty part of Bremerton, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's important part of Bremerton. So yeah, we got about just a few more miles, and we'll be at our house. Almost home now. We are home. Mike's son doing the hitch and all that stuff, and uh, all we gotta do is uh, 
park it, set up. We, we stay in the trailer full time, so uh, yeah, just about done. Feels good to be home.